Hey guys, JT here with the first run of the car I got from RC Moment. Um, it's the WL it's the WL Toys uh, twelve four two eight car. That's kind of how it's best identified as. Um, it's got a couple of different names to it, but I wanted to test this thing out here um, to get some speed runs for it, just to see how quick this thing is. I have to put my uh, radar gun out here or something like that and see how fast this thing actually is and then test it off-road as well so um, <clears throat> told you guys before this is kind of the remote for it um, when you first turn the car on you have to turn the remote on first it's gonna actually blink it's just gonna blink until you turn the car on and kind of synchronizes up so um, if you see that there's nothing wrong it's just you turn this on first and of course after you turn the car on this is gonna turn a solid red so I'm gonna check the uh, steering throttle and all that real quick so the servo in here seems to be fast enough for what we have. Um, I just need to make sure this thing is completely aligned up. Uh, normally when I test my cars, I make sure that most of the stuff is lined up and stuff before I just go all out and, and go with it. So that's not full speed, y'all. <laughs> it's almost pretty much set up right. It's bearing to the left just a little bit, so I'll adjust this real quick. There we go. All right, let's see what we can do. It's got some. It's got some get up and go. Look at that. And oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, those uh, LED lights do work. Look at that. So that's gonna be pretty cool when I do some uh, uh, some night runs. It's still very not. Let me adjust this just a little bit. Sorry about that. <coughs> So check out these LED lights. So it comes with six workable LED lights. So how cool is that? For everything that you get, it comes with working LED lights. Most kits you, or just about all kits, you have to buy that as extra. Um, oh, first flip. That's getting up pretty good. Once this motor probably breaks in, I'll probably get about another mm, two miles at the most out of it. But... As this is right here, this is fine. Of course, since I'm running on concrete, it is getting a little bit more traction. Than... But I'm impressed so far. Most of the cars that kind of have uh, this solid axle design in the back are going to kind of lift as you hit the throttle. Um, every car I've had it, from my twin hammers even over to my um, Yeti, did it. Um, you guys know I had a Yeti XL, and that did the same thing. Once you accelerate, it lifts up on three wheels. So this one slow stopped doing it somewhat. Um, once I probably work on the suspension a little bit, probably won't lift as much. But right now, it seems to be doing fine now. Actually, this is pretty cool, guys. So let me take this thing off-road real quick. Uh, so far, so good with this thing. I'm, I do believe it is going over 25 miles per hour or so, but we'll get the uh, speedometer and stuff like that out probably in a couple more videos down the road. But let me take this thing off-road real quick. All right, finna take this sucker off-road. Let's see how this thing does. Now, like I said, keep in mind, this is 12 scale. It's not 10 scale. Matter of fact, it says rock crawling. Let's see what it does over here. <laughs> Even though this isn't the biggest pile. I think it'll do well if I take it out and not do any like serious crawling with it, but just take it out to do some running and stuff. I know some guys that actually go to uh, Stone Mountain and do some stuff up there. So uh, let's take it and see what it's going to do. It's real quick on the acceleration, so. I'll have to do uh, some adjustments to the suspension. Won't be much. I'll just put some thicker oil in there. Um, I think the oil in the shocks is probably about halfway full or so, but I'll check that after I run this thing a couple more times. Oh, first flip, but it didn't really flip over. 
I mean, it flipped, but it didn't flip flip. <laughs> Tumble flip and... Yeah, this is scooting along good. Like I said, I will leave a link in the description. Uh, I got this from RC Moment. And it's going to be under 100 bucks shipped um, at the time of this video. So, see if I can get some uh, promo codes from them. To cut down maybe 5% on the cost of something for you guys. <laughs> Oh, one other thing too I did notice um, I didn't say in the unboxing it doesn't come with dog bones in the front they're actually universal drive shafts and they're steel so you don't have to worry about those breaking so I think pretty much out the box you'll be pretty much with a car that won't break right off the bat I mean of course any car can break if you run it into anything full speed and continue to do that but I think right now from this first initial driving the only thing that's going to need to be adjusted is going to be the shocks. And I'll just put some thicker oil in there as well to see how that runs. And I'll let you guys know. Oh, see, there goes those rocks I always tell you about. Look at this. Came out of nowhere. I'll let you guys know what kind of um, shock oil I put up in here as well. But I'm actually interested to see how this is going to run at night, too, how bright those lights are. You guys know this is probably one of the rockiest terrains in my area that I can drive my cars at um, without breaking them. So, uh, so far this thing's been doing pretty good. So I'm going to take this out and run it just a little bit more. But probably next time I run it, it'll be at nighttime. And then um, I'm actually going to put some thicker oil in the shocks. And I'll let you guys know what weight I'm going to kind of work with, with that. So you guys know if you get this kit, what weight to put in the rear shocks and possibly in the front as well to keep it from bouncing so much in the rear but uh stay tuned for more videos for this um as well so as always don't forget to like or dislike subscribe if you have not and don't forget to find me on facebook guys a lot of things are on facebook that are not on youtube um particular things like there's going to be some giveaways i'm going to do as well so thanks again for watching